One of the things that strikes me is that actually in the Africa Agenda for 2063, um, there's a real opportunity here to integrate science in a way that's been perhaps not done so far in the post-2015 um, Millennium Goals or Sustainable Development Goals Agenda. I, do you have any reflections on this? Yes, in fact, if, if you look at our common position that we are using to negotiate uh, at the UN, science and technology is part of that common position of post-2015. But of course, our common position in post-2015 is part of Agenda 2063. And our approach is that whether it's accepted globally or not, we will still um, implement it because it's what we think Africa needs. And if the world accepts what Africa needs as part of what the world needs to do, that would be a bonus for us and would be very happy. But if they don't, we still want to continue doing what we think Africa needs. Because I always tell a story about this of an old man in a village who was listening to uh, the Millennium Development and goals, what the UN has decided, and this and the other. And he was looking, and, and then when the presentation was finished, he said, why do we need the UN to tell us to send kids to school? So I think, for me, that's a very pertinent question. Yes, we can negotiate with the world, but we don't need the world to tell us what we need in Africa and what we need to do in Africa.